Hi children, today we are going to read our 28th book from the incredible Peppa Pig collection of 50 story books. Shall we see what it is? It's the doctors. Please press the like button if you like our video and subscribe to our channel to watch more and more videos from us. We will continue reading the rest of the books from the incredible Peppa Pig collection and we have got so got loads of other books from Peppa Pig, Hey Dougie, Bluey, yeah. Coco Milano and lots of puzzle books. Shall we read The Doctors? It is playtime. Peppa and Petro Pony are playing in the garden when they hear a squeak from up in a tree. What is that noise? asked Petro. He looks up and gasps. It's Tiddles, the tortoise. Don't worry, Tiddles. We can get you down. I'll just shake this tree and... Whoosh! Tiddle falls from the tree and bumps Petro's nose on his way down. Ouch! shouts Petro. Madame Gazelle comes to help. Oh dear, what happened? she asks. Tiddle fell on Petro's nose, says Peppa. Madame Gazelle calls the doctor. Mr. Brown Bear hurries over. Hello, where is the patient? He asks. Here, my nose hurts, says Petro. <gasps> Dr. Brown Bear gives Petro a green plaster for his nose. That will make it better, says Dr. Brown Bear. My glasses fell in the mud, says Petro. You will need an optician to fix them, Ma says Brown Bear. The optician Ma arrives. It is Dr. Pony. He is... Petro's daddy, can you please read this chart for me, Petro, says Dr. Pony. I can't see. My glasses aren't working, says Petro. Dr. Pony spots the problem. These glasses just need a good clean, says Dr. Pony. He carefully wipes away the mud and gives the clean glasses back to Petro. I can see again, says Petro. Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal, says Madame Gazelle. But Tiddle needs helping too, cries Peppa. Squeak, squeak. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble, asks Madame Gazelle. I am afraid not, but we know who can, says Dr. Pony. I will call them now. Dr. Hamster, the vet, arrives. Tiddle falls out of the tree, Petro tells Dr. Hamster. Tiddles, you little pickle, says Dr. Hamster. She flips him over so that he can stand up again. All of a sudden, Dr. Elephant, the dentist, appears. Hello, I hear there was an emergency. Are everyone's teeth okay, he asks. Yes, thank you. Everyone answers. Dr. Elephant sets off on his way. My car won't start, cries Dr. Elephant. None of the doctors know what to do. I know who to tell. Grandad Dog's breakdown service, says Madame Gazelle. Grandad Dog arrives. He opens up the car bonnet and has a look. Right now, try the engine, he says. Vroom! Dr. Elephant's car has been fixed. Grandad Dog is a car doctor. There are doctors for everything, even for cars. Vroom! Everyone loves doctors. Vroom, vroom, vroom! That's the end. Hope you all enjoyed reading this book. See you all soon on another interesting book. Bye!